Good morning, guys. Welcome to a new vlog. I just had a workout. That's why I'm looking kind of crazy right now. Um, I just did the Peloton, and speaking of Peloton, you guys have been asking me what my... Um, what do you call it leaderboard name is or just my username is on peloton and it is steph s-t-e-f-f -F clark c-l-a-r-k yeah i believe that's what it is um so yeah you can follow me there so yeah i did a 45 minute class today and then i also did an arm strengthening workout after so i feel good but i'm really tired it really wore me out so i am going to make some breakfast right now i'm gonna have a greek yogurt parfait i'm gonna just make it and put some fruit on top and then i'm also craving a matcha an iced matcha which i've been making a lot more recently at home i stopped going to starbucks as often as i used to and i'm making my matchas at home now so i'll show you guys how i make that but anyway today is gonna be another week weekly reset video and i feel like i do these probably every week so I hope you guys aren't getting too tired of them, but I love filming these and I hope these videos motivate you guys to have a really productive weekly reset. I need to go to the grocery store and clean the apartment. I need to do some laundry and I need to update my Poshmark closet. I have a couple new things that I want to add. Um, so yeah, it'll be another very chill vlog. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe if you like vlogs like this and don't forget to thumbs up this video. So, okay, I'm gonna make my um, parfait now. I'm gonna just do Greek yogurt, put some strawberries and blueberries on top and then some shaved almonds. And I have, what else do I have? And then honey and then chia seeds. That's usually what I do for my parfaits. It's super um, simple, but it's really delicious. Here's my parfait. I also added chocolate chips. It adds a nice little sweet touch to it because the um, yogurt I'm using is non-flavored. It's just plain Greek yogurt, so it's not like vanilla. I usually get vanilla, but I accidentally grabbed a plain flavor this time. So to add sweetness, just a few chocolate chips. Okay, so the matcha that I use is from, I think it's pronounced Peak, Pike. I'm not quite sure but they come in these individual packages, which I love because one of these is good for like one um, average sized matcha. So yeah, I'm going to be using this. So I add my matcha to like a little bowl and I'm boiling some water right now. I add boiling hot water to this, but while I wait for the water to boil, I'm gonna prepare my, my cup of milk. I'm going to use almond milk. You can use any milk you want. And I fill that up about like halfway in a glass with some ice. And we add the hot water. And then I'm taking my bamboo whisk and whisk, whisk, whisk. Mix it all up in an M motion, zigzag. So after it's been cooled, I just pour it right in the milk. Try not to spill. And I also add a teeny, teeny bit of um, vanilla syrup. You could also do stevia. I know some people use stevia. And I need to buy another one. It's almost done. But yeah, guys, that's how I make my iced matcha at home. Cheers. Mm, so good. So I've spent pretty much all morning trying to tackle my office i'm sitting on the floor of my office right now and it's been just so cluttered and messy and very unorganized for the past like few months so i'm trying to get things in order today um and i'm also cleaning out i'm kind of like going through my shoes because i usually do like closet purges and i go through like all my clothes and stuff but i usually tend to like leave my shoes alone but i just went through my sh my shoe rack in my closet and I noticed that there's a lot of shoes that I haven't worn in like three years. Things that just really don't fit my lifestyle, like these high, high heels. 
um, and like other like fancy shoes that I just don't wear so I'm going to list some stuff on my Poshmark now and this video is sponsored by Poshmark you guys know I love listing clothes and accessories and home items on my Poshmark closet I also love to shop on Poshmark it's a great place to get some good deals on secondhand items they have thousands of listings all sorts of designers they have luxury designers and it's a great place to clean out your closet sell some of your things that you no longer want anymore make some space in your home and you can earn a nice quick buck through Poshmark so Poshmark is free to download in the US Canada Australia and India and I'm gonna link my Poshmark closet in the description if you want to download and go check out my closet and shop all of my clothes on there I have so many things I have clothes mostly clothes and shoes and uh, some accessories but I'm gonna list a lot more accessories and shoes today so I'll show you guys some of the things that I'm listing in case you're interested in checking it out so these are the shoes that I'm listing I'm also listing a few sunglasses so I'm listing these really cute cat-eyed sunglasses. I got these originally from Express a few years ago, um, but I no longer use them because I have another pair that are literally exactly like that, so I don't need to, so I'm gonna sell one of them. And I also have this pair, I believe is from Shein. These are really cute geometric kind of cat-eye sunglasses too. They're brown and black. I really like those, but I don't really wear them that much. And then I also have these more square ones. These, I think, are from Amazon. But again, I already have another pair like this, so I didn't need two. So I am selling those three sunglasses. And then these shoes I'm selling, so I'm selling these um, really cute boots. I used to wear these all the time in the wintertime. They're like these lace-up boots, and they're felt and I think they're just so glamorous, but again, I don't really have anywhere to wear them, um, but they're still so cute, and I got these, I think, at Misguided, and then I have these Express heels here. They have a nice height to them. I've worn them a few times. They still are in really good condition, um, and I love the braided like design up here, and then these ones I got from Call It Spring. I used to be obsessed with these. I used to wear these all the time. They do have some scratches, like actually a lot, so I'm not gonna sell this for a lot. Um, yeah, I, I always try to like make sure I um, am really candid with the photos and make sure I show like all the scratches and marks, um, but they're really comfortable. Okay, these ones, I call these my J-Lo heels because they remind me of heels J-Lo would wear. Um, but again, this doesn't really fit my lifestyle. They're so tall. I don't really like tall heels anymore. They're really uncomfortable for me to walk, but these were actually pretty comfortable. They weren't that bad. And these were from Misguided, but they're so pretty. Look at that gold, like, Cuban link chain, and they're gold all over. I feel like these would be really nice for, like, wedding season coming up. So, we are going to sell those. And then, last but not least, I have these really cute sandals. I bought these two years ago to wear in Mexico, and I wore these everywhere, and they were so comfortable these are steve madden and this is like a i don't know what what it's called but it kind of reminds me of like a cork board or like the um like wine corks so um yeah they're really comfortable and all of these i believe are size 39 european or eight and a half so those are the shoes and sunglasses i'm going to list today and then i'm also going to list a couple bags this one is a little pouch from amazon and then i also have this woven one from forever 21 I had a few of you guys ask me where I got this from, and they don't sell them on Forever 21 anymore. This one, I actually just bought, like, not even a month ago. This is from Marshalls. It's brand new. Tags, everything are still on. Um, I'm going to sell this because I just found it didn't really fit my needs. I wanted to return this, but um, it was out of the range of getting a return. I was like past the 30 day mark, so I'm going to just sell it, but it's such a cute bag for summer. The handles are wooden and I think it would be so cute with so many things. It might even look good with these shoes. So we're going to sell that and I'm going to probably sell this for like half off. Um, and then the last bag I'm going to sell is this woven one. This like Bottega inspired one. It's orange. So pretty for summer. So yeah, that's what I'm going to list right now. So definitely go check out my description. Download the Poshmark app if you want to check any of these things out.
Okay, I'm home, so let's do the haul. I got stuff for these sub sandwiches that are like going viral on TikTok. It's basically like a Jersey Mike sub, but um, I'm gonna make those for lunch today, so I wanted to get some sandwich buns, and then literally just a bunch of vegetables. My kale, celery, asparagus, iceberg lettuce, and Brussels sprouts tomatoes i got these bay bell cheeses these are my favorite to snack on we got some bell pepper and i wanted to try these i've never tried these but these are vegetable masala burgers they are veggie burgers with indian spices so i thought that would be really really good for like a quick lunch and then on the bottom there i have um chicken breast and salmon i do need to go to costco to buy my chicken in bulk but for now for today i didn't really have time to go to costco so i just got those more vegetables we have my baby spinach and i got a few snacks i got some white cheddar popcorn and some corn chips i thought i could um use this for the caramelized onion dip and then i got oh these are just all drinks i got almond milk orange peach mango that juice is so good and then i got another one of these fresh squeeze lemonade i got this last time and this is so delicious if you love lemonade you have to try that and then i also got some apple juice last bag i got this cracker assortment if i ever want to make a cheese board or maybe for my friends this weekend when they come i can make a small little cheese board i got avocados i got a cucumber and orange chicken this is for Otto because he loves the orange chicken from trader joe's it is really good and then i got a couple of the edamames I love edamame, I love to snack on them. I just boil these, yeah, they're just so good, I just snack on them. So I got two of those. I got two turkey breasts, these are reduced sodium. So I'll use those for the sub sandwiches. Cheese assortment, the sampler, this is my favorite sampler. I always get this every time I make a charcuterie board or a cheese board, um, yeah, these cheeses are so good. I just got so much cheese today. I got this um, party tray, and we got lemons, I got bananas, I got a pineapple. And then I got another, another cheese for the sub sandwiches that we'll make today. And I think that's it. Oh, and I also got mint because if you guys saw my last vlog, I made these fruit ice cubes. And I want to put mint in one of them. Oh yeah, I also got some sweet potato gnocchi. And I've never tried Trader Joe's gnocchi, but they are notoriously known so i wanted to try so that's everything that i got i also got a sparkling water and yeah so i'm gonna clean up my fridge now and put these away oh and i also got some new florals here i got a random bunch and i want to make a really cute like springy um flower arrangement i got a couple of these greens this one here and then this one i really like this one specifically Here's how the arrangement turned out. She a little wild, she a little all over the place, but that reflects my mood of the week. Yeah, so um, I kind of just threw everything in there, and I don't know what some of these flowers are called. If you know, leave a comment, but I just really wanted a kind of green and messy, kind of like wild look, so I think it's super cute, I love it. Okay, so I'm currently cleaning. I posted a deep cleaning vlog like a couple weeks ago almost, and I haven't cleaned since then. So I need to change the bed sheets. I'm gonna dust, vacuum, and yeah, all that fun stuff.
I don't think I showed this on the vlog yet, but I switched up my couch pillows a little bit. I bought new covers um, on Amazon and they're a really pretty like gray suede color. I thought it would look nice because you know the couch is gray. I thought it would make it look more less cluttered because I used to have like a ton of pillows on there. Um, so now I just have two on like each side. So they're really soft and they're 24 by 24. I also um, put two inserts cause I had extra ones in my closet. So yeah, in this cover there are two inserts and it gives it that really like fluffy, um, super soft, like just really full look as opposed to like this pillow. This pillow is really flimsy. I got this at Target. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna make that like TikTok famous grinder sub sandwich that everyone's saying like, it's just like the same as Jersey Mike's. Um, I've never actually had Jersey Mike's, but I did make this sub sandwich last week once. It was so delicious. There's like so many videos. If you just Google it or look on TikTok or even Instagram, I'm sure you'll find it. Okay, I'm gonna start off with making the like main thing in the sandwich, the main like mix or whatever you wanna call it, this slaw, I guess, that makes the sandwich really good. So you're gonna need an iceberg lettuce. We're gonna chop that up really finely. We're gonna add mayo to that. We're gonna add some red wine vinegar, some bell pepper, banana bell pepper, oregano, minced garlic, um, pepper flakes, salt and pepper, but everyone does this differently. I think some people um, add a little bit more to it, but that's just what I do. So I use turkey and the light cheese from Trader Joe's. I think people are using pepperoni and salami in the recipes when they make this, but Anto likes turkey. So that's why we're doing turkey. So um, I'm gonna put this in the oven at 350 for like five-ish minutes until the cheese melts. So now we top it with the slaw we made. Top it off with onions even though i already put onions in the slaw but you can never have enough onions 
and some tomato. You guys definitely have to try this sandwich. So we're always trying to find new things to watch on Netflix, which, are we canceling Netflix? Yes. <laughs> Yo, Netflix is like raising the prices and they're also putting ads in and they're like being more, what do you call it? Like strict about like sharing accounts. And their show sucks. And their show, yeah. Let's be real. I like, like, there was like a few good ones. Like, there's Bridgerton, Bridgerton. That's all I can think of, really. Pfft. Oh, and New Girl, New Girl's on there. But anyway, so we're always looking for new things to watch. We might cancel, I don't know if we are, but whatever. Um, I'm watching, I don't want to curse on my vlog, but BS, yeah, there you go. It's called um, BS The Game Show. We're on a balcony, it's a gorgeous night. It's like 71 degrees, so nice. I miss chilling on our balcony. I haven't read a book in like months i go through phases where i read like five books in a month and then i won't read for the next four months so that's what happened so um i bought a bunch of books back i think in like february and i think i showed them to you guys in a vlog i got a lot of colleen hoover books because i was really into Co colleen hoover and i still am so i am gonna finally read this one this one is pretty old i think it's from 2016 but it's called maybe someday I hope it's good. I don't think it's one of her most popular ones. But yeah, so we're reading on the balcony. What are you doing? I'm just looking at the basketball again. Oh, right looking now. at the basketball scores. Yes, I am. Anto doesn't want to be on the vlog today. No? No. No. Today's my off day. Oh, okay. Maybe next vlog. The sunset is gorgeous. Sensational. Sensational. Right? You want a dog? Yeah, I know. everyone here has a dog. Me too, I want one too. Everyone that walks by has a dog here. It's like, I want one too, why can't I have one? I want one too. I just don't, I don't know, I've never had a pet before so I'm nervous to take care of him. Yeah, I feel like you'd do a good job. I would. I just need to learn more about dogs, to own, like how to Bats. take care of them. I can't just get one and not know what to do. But they're we should so show cute. them some of the dogs that are looking at over the weekend. Oh yeah, we should. Oh my should god. I, <laughs> wait, which one should I pull up? I'm showing you should, a bunch. Just pick one. Pick the one that we always talk about. Yeah. We want we want like a mix of like a poodle and a um oh toy poodles are cute too. Look at the cute little puppy. Oh my god, she's so cute. Wait, here's another one. But the thing is puppies are hard because you gotta train them. I feel like if we get a dog, we should get one that's like a little bit older. Maybe like five, six years. We should adopt, we gotta adopt. I wanna adopt, I wanna like go to the shelter and like adopt. A cute little doggy. All right, I got another one. The neighbors. The Ivy one is just out right now. I know, cause it's so nice. Okay, I need to read my book. Sometimes I need to just like force myself to read and then once I do, I like can't stop. The wiener dog. Oh, the little wiener. Cause look at the little short legs. They I don't, want a dog. They guys. don't grow, they, they get kind of long, a little bit taller. They stay, oh my God, wiener dogs are so cute. Oh, I can see you with this dog. Let me see. Ah, oh, Pomeranians, yeah, they're yeah. cute. I can see you with a Pomeranian oh in your God. little room. Look how fluffy. That's a cute dog. I heard they, I think they oh, have- Let's get a German Shepherd. Yeah, I like German to Shepherds. Them. I want two dogs. I want like one really tiny, cute one that'll and stay small like, forever. Like and then one like, like a, like a German Shepherd yeah. or like a, I really want a Labrador because they're very playful. Like a bigger dog. We'll see. We went from having no dogs to like, yeah, we're gonna get two dogs. We're gonna get two dogs. And we should get a chicken. Oh my God. Oh, a chicken and a duck, like on Friends. This candle smells good. Oh, I lit the candle that I got from Target, oh, the one that's supposed to repel insects. It got dirty from all the rain, but it smells really good. So beautiful. What's that one uh, movie where the, the intro is like the girl sitting on DreamWorks. Yeah, it looks like the DreamWorks. <laughs> it does. Yeah, it does. Hi guys, I'm just hopping on really quickly to end this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it as always. And don't forget to check out Poshmark. Check out the link to download the app in my description. It's available in the US, Canada, Australia, and India. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next one.